There's not a whole lot of MMOs coming out this year, so I want to take some time to compare the two games I've been playing for quite a while to help you get a good idea of which is better at certain things, and which one might offer the gaming experience you're looking for. Of course keep in mind that a lot of this video will be opinionated. You're free to try out both of these games on your own since they're both available to play. Revelation is already in open beta for North America and Europe, and Bless Online is available in Russia and Korea with an English beta expected soon. I'll begin with one of the first things you do in most MMORPG, the character creation. In Revelation, there's many options when it comes to making a character look unique. There's sliders for just about any part of the body, allowing some of the most extreme proportions I've seen in any MMO. On top of that, there's also a lot of freedom when it comes to colors. You can put in RGB values for pretty much anything that requires color and even control its brightness. The user interface is also a big positive because you can save and share any character design you create. The limitation though is that the class and gender you choose determines what size your character can be. For example, the female gunslinger can be tall or normal height, while the vanguard can be a lolly or normal height. In Bless Online, characters have clear limits on how far body parts can go and have more realistic proportions. There's a good variety of hair types that actually look good, but there's no way to change the color or brightness of anything to the exact values you want. You have to choose between set numbers of preset colors and skin tones. I'm very glad that the graphics in the game does match what it's like in the character creator, especially since I've found no way to save or import a character template or edit a character once it's made. I feel that both games are equal in variety, but Revelation has a little too much freedom with making characters, to the extent that it takes a toll on the immersion factor of the game. I'm a much bigger fan of Bless's proportions, so for me that character creator is the winner. In Revelation, the first 20 levels is basically the tutorial phase, and is the part I used to dread the most every time I made a new character. It doesn't show anything that I wouldn't otherwise figure out on my own just by being put into the world, and there was zero difficulty to make it interesting. On top of that, the English version of the game was not well translated, so I wasn't able to fully understand the story, let alone want to continue going through it. After that though, the leveling does get better with some fun activities to do like Fairy Fun Land and Faction Events that all help towards your overall progression. Besides these small activities though, from here on out, the bulk of the leveling comes in the form of very repetitive instance dungeons that you have to run over and over for materials, gear, and experience. I can understand why some people like this because it's a fairly simple progression, but I'm not a fan of how tedious and chore-like it becomes. I guess one thing I do like about this is that it does encourage playing with other people. Finding a group that can properly do dungeons makes the leveling process a lot easier. In Bless, you can go through a lot of the game on your own. You'll follow the main story questline in the world and do side quests as the main ways to level up. You can do a lot of it with other people though if that's what you prefer. My girlfriend Media and I had no trouble leveling up together and we're definitely doing a lot more of progression with each other than in Revelation. Another thing I can say about leveling up in Bless is that there wasn't really ever a point when I felt bored with the story. Each race begins in their own racial areas and follow their own equally interesting stories, then all converge into the main story of the game that focuses on the war between the two factions. Player vs player or PvP also has a place in the game's leveling since the main story actually takes you into war zones, but I'll talk more about that in a little bit. There are dungeons to do as well as you progress, and from my experience, they take a good amount of coordination and teamwork. In short, Revelation offers lots of dailies and instances to level up, while Blast offers linear, story-driven progression in the open world. While it's a lot more rewarding to group up in Revelation, it's not a rare thing to join parties in Bless, especially for dungeons and PvP raids. For me, Bless is the very clear winner. I liked going through the game's progression a lot more than Revelation, and would have no problem doing it all again. If you want a more in-depth review of leveling and pretty much Bless in general, you can check out the video I'll put at the end of this one. In Revelation, open world PvP is extremely discouraged. It has one of the most punishing systems of any game with open world PvP, which as an old arcade player is a pretty big negative for me. To counter this though, there's a lot of instance type of PvPs like arenas, battlegrounds, guild wars, and even weird snowball yeti fights. But there's also gear you can get only from PvP that is really good for it. So if you want to do mostly PvP in the game, those gears let you do exactly that. Keep in mind that the game will still require you to do some PvE content to keep up with other players. 
In Blast, open-world PvP is a lot more common because your character is part of one of two factions fighting a war. It's something that almost everybody does because there's benefits to killing the guy in front of you. There's also instance arenas and battlegrounds as well as guild wars like in Revelation, but the large-scale instance fights always look pretty laggy and dare I say zerg-like, so I can't say I'm a fan of them. For Bless, I much prefer the small-scale PvP or open world. PvP is heavily integrated into the game's progression and many parts of gameplay, which I know is a deal-breaker to some and an absolute attraction to others. Out of the two, it really just depends on what you're into. If you don't mind instance PvP, Revelation has a better flow in combat than Bless Online. But if you're more into open world fighting, then for sure Bless will offer a better experience. Revelation's world is filled with beautiful landscapes rich in color that vary greatly from one location to another. You can go from vibrant, peaceful zones to dim and dismal areas with giant spiders. While the sceneries of the game is always nice to look at, I feel that the actual world of Numenor itself has noticeably large parts of the map that are barren placeholders. As much as I try to immerse myself in the open world, the majority of the fun activities are cramped into instances and so I never actually felt the need to continue exploring outside of them. In Blast, the open world feels a little more real and a lot more interactive. For example, you can randomly find areas or pocket instances with hidden quest agendas while walking around. Another thing is that there's always something to tame anywhere you go, so there's a constant reason to explore. Granted, I wasn't anywhere near the levels of the places I was visiting and died more times than I'd like to admit. It was fun nonetheless, and if I had more time and money, I probably would have kept going till I tamed everything. I guess the main thing I dislike about this game's world is lack of variety. Anytime I wasn't in a city, I'm either in a desert or a forest. That's it. There's so much brown and sand and desert and poop color zones. The game world is huge though, and I don't expect to explore it all anytime soon, especially since there's really no easy teleportations to get around. Every trip has to be done in real time through dragon rides, airships, boats, or on foot. Both games offer seemingly endless open world, but Bless gave me a lot more interaction and desire to look beyond what I can see. I felt a lot more engaged and part of the world. Revelation has done a very good job when it comes to giving people options when making unique looking characters. Character customization is available anytime you want if you can afford to buy it in the cash shop, but the fact that it's there is actually a pretty good thing. There are items to change your face, hair, gender, and even one for going straight back to the character creation window. On top of that, fashion costumes is one of Revelation's strong points. That is, it was on the original Chinese version. With the English release, it seems they roll out fashion items very slowly, which is a shame because Revelation has a lot of good ones. What I like is that they're not all in the cash shop, and a good amount of fashion items are from things like reputation vendors, achievements, and server rankings. The game also has its own version of transmog, even though it's just for cash shop skins, which I guess is okay since, at the end of the day, it's just cosmetics. In Blast, there's not many fashion items yet, but there are some bunny outfits and fancy dress type of clothing available already. The game at the moment is more oriented towards people that prefer armor and medieval looking characters. The majority of players you'll be seeing around the world will be wearing armor. While I do like the realism of the characters and how clothing fits the game world a lot more in Bless, the variety and amount of customization doable in Revelation far outweighs it, so Revelation is the clear winner for this one. But it's really up to you. If you like variety and don't mind seeing chicken suits and horse heads, then Revelation might be your game. But if you like something that is more realistic and sticks to the theme of the game, then Blast is likely more for you. I'm gonna quickly go over some things that Revelation did well on when it comes to quality of life. First, there's lots of emotes, and some you actually have to unlock through gameplay. For example, flirtatious hugging requires lots of intimacy levels that are gained by playing with a person you're married to in the game. There's also some decent UI features like being able to scale and move most things easily. I have to say though that despite this feature, Revelation's UI is still very cluttered and oftentimes too invasive, especially when it comes to pop-ups and announcements. Bless on the other hand offers a very weak UI layout that if I had to describe in a few words, feels like it's from the year 2004. 
It has nothing special and has only the bare bones of what makes a game's UI work. There's no way to scale anything or even hide the chat window which takes up an annoying amount of space on my screen at 1080p resolution. The UI and every window you open feels like the basic stuff you see in games like Riders of Icarus or some other generic MMO. Aside from that, I didn't really find any other good quality of life things in Bless Online. I think it's pretty safe to say that Revelation is the winner for this one. Overall, Revelation is a game I'd recommend to someone who wants to log into a game casually and still have fun little things to do, and also to those that care about making their characters look very unique. There's been a lot of trouble with hacking and very slow content release since the English open beta launched, which is really quite sad for me to see. I know the game has a lot of potential, if only it was handled correctly. Bless on the other hand, I'd recommend to those that want to have a good time going through a game's story with good open world PvP through a lot of it, and don't really care about things like costumes, in-game relationships, and slice of life kind of things. The game is more kind to those looking to enjoy traversing a large world and exploring. Also keep in mind that this is from my experience leveling up on the Russian version of Bless. The Korean version has had several upgrades like UI and combat updates. As promised, here's my overview on Bless to the left, and also my Revelation playlist to the right. Thank you for watching, and do comment and let me know what you think of this review.